Challenged by head coach Willie Flintquist. After heavy anticipation for months, the long-awaited debut of the Willie Bloomquist era began this past weekend, as Arizona State hosted Dixie State to kick off the season. While West Virginia transfer Adam Tillich shined with no allowed hits and 7 Ks, the story of Friday night was senior first baseman Connor Davis. After having not played a game in almost two years, Davis's first at-bat as a Sun Devil could not have been scripted any better. High fly ball, well hit left field, Schmidt back at the fence. Welcome back, Connor Davis. It's been an emotional day, emotional week, uh, coming back from two years, knee injury and all that. But uh, just everything leading up to that moment and then happening the way it did. I don't know if it's just God working crazy ways or just the universe working for me the right way, but I'm just, I feel blessed just to be back out here. Despite going 0 for 14 with runners in scoring position, ASU did enough offensively to start the season off right with a 3-1 win. The task would be much tougher Saturday night, as the Sun Devils would have to rally in the ninth inning behind a Sean McLean fielder's choice to send the game to extras. Yet, Dixie State again punched back, converting the suicide squeeze play to perfection in the 10th inning to get a run home and ultimately win 7-6. Bloomquist said the team couldn't cry about the disappointing result with the quick turnaround Sunday. After two early runs by Dixie State, ASU would counter in the second inning with another Connor Davis solo shot. The lead would continue to teeter back and forth in the early stages, with the Trailblazers making good contact on the ball to lead to runs, making it an 8-6 advantage for Dixie State through five innings. While the rubber match was shaping up to be a high-scoring affair by both squads, it all shifted towards the Sun Devils with a six-run six inning, featuring a two-run shot by redshirt sophomore Joe Lampy to get things going, and a grand slam blast by freshman Will Rogers. Rogers ended the day going three for five with six RBIs. When asked post-game if this was a performance he expected, head coach Willie Bloomquist's answer was simple. Yeah, um, that's why he's in there. Um, you know, and he had been swinging the bat like that all spring, which is why he earned himself the, the starting job in left field and, and hit and clean up for us. So it's not easy to do as a freshman. I think, uh, you know, the moment got a little big for him in the first couple games and wheels were spinning a little bit, but he was able to settle down today off the left hander and kind of get, have a good couple at bats and you can just see the, you know, the positivity coming right back into him and understand, yeah, I can do this. With another grand slam from catcher Nate Baez in the seventh inning, Arizona State cruised to a 17-8 victory to win the series. The Sun Devils now have a midweek tilt at home against Nevada before taking on BYU next weekend. For Cronkite Sports, I'm Jonah Krell.